All right, ladies. Ladies, ladies, this is Alex from mindfulattraction.org. Um, by the way, people, if you guys want to catch me live, make sure to hit that notification bar. All right? If you want to catch me live, make sure to hit that notification bar because I'm going to be doing live streams all month. All right? So you don't know when it's coming. I'm like, I'm like Jesus. You don't know when I'm coming back. All right? Um, so with that being said, guys, I have a free gift for you guys. There's a free gift. I have a portion of my audiobook online. Just go to my website and on the homepage, you'll see that link. I mean, you'll see if, um, a form to, to, get a, to get that free, you know, fucking gift. You know, it's an audiobook. It's nice. It's how to make them chase and all that shit. And support me on Patreon on the links, links below and get online coaching. Oh, and I have a course. A psychological game of attraction. How nice is that, huh? So look, let's talk about this, right? Before I tell you this, I'm going to go to the bodega and make some coffee, all right? So I'm going to take a break when I'm, talk when I'm here. I'm going to take a break get the coffee so behave as I, as I get the coffee behave all right don't make me look stupid so look man how do you get a guy how do you get a guy interested how do you show interest without scare him away right look man it's very simple you just have to be there that's all you just have to be there you see a lot of women believe that you gotta say how interested you are in the guy you gotta let him know with your words that you're interested Motherfucker, you're, the only thing that should let him know that you like him is your presence, is the fact that you are there, is the fact that you get, when you go on dates with him, you get there on time, is the fact that when, when, when he texts you, you eventually text him back, you know, it, it's, it's, it's being there for him when he, when he is feeling bad, it's not you telling him you miss him, it's you hitting him up when he's, when he's back in the city, one second, let's, I'm going to get this. Oh, shut up. Don't tell me about the sugar, man. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. I knew someone was going to say something. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, one second, people. Got to get my cash out. Gracias. All right. Um, all right, back to what I was saying. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, man, you know what? It's true, man. Like, I got to stop with the coffee, man. I'm pre-diabetic, so I got to stop that. Um, all right. So look, man. So essentially, to show a guy interest, you ladies got to stop being so goddamn expressive emotionally when you like a guy. You see, that's where it fucks you up. When you like a guy, you always tell him, I miss you. Hey there. How are you? Kiss blowy and shit, right? But even though you're doing that, you think that that is what, you, what you're supposed to do. What's really happening is that you're just being selfish. You're doing it because you can't, you can't help yourself. You're doing it because you feel insecure that if you don't tell him that, he won't know that you like him. Motherfucker, look, man, all you got to do is be there. Let him interpret you. Don't give him the fucking answers. Why are you giving him the answers? Why are you giving him the ending of the movie? Let him watch the whole movie. Let everything unfold. Be relaxed. Stop trying to be best friends. Stop, try stop trying to speed the process up. Stop trying to make it make an unripe avocado ripe in five hours. Motherfucker, you got to let nature... Nature and time, um, you gotta let nature and time do, do the work. Do what you're supposed to do, feed the avocado tree, feed, feed it water, you know, don't be needy, right? Um, 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 be, be hot and cold and let nature do its work. And if he likes you, he's gonna, he's, he's gonna stay. But you gotta stop trying 
to show him that you like him. Stop trying to do that. You, it's going to come through eventually. You know, the self is always coming through eventually. You know what I'm saying? And I, look, man, just look at the text messages that you women send to guys that you like. Just, just look at it. It's insane. You know, it's it's you're putting you're you're putting everything out there. You're not leaving any mystery. He's not thinking, you know, does she like me or not? She she already knows the answer. You know, and 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 what makes people like you more is the 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 that thought, that repetitive thought, the repetitive thought of of how how you feel about them, right? Because let me tell you something. Either, which job would you value more? Let me ask you this. Which job would you value more? The job interview... The job interview where you... Where the interview went well, right? And... And and the interview went well and stuff like that because they weren't that selective. They, and they acted like they wanted you. Or the job where you came back and you're like, I don't know if I got that job. Which, which one, when they accept you, will bring the most reward? If you want a both job equally, the one who you thought didn't like you, didn't want to hire you, isn't one that's going to give more of an emotional response from you, right? So that's how it is, man. You got to know that people, what people want is their imagination to be played with. Why do people go to, to magic shows? Why do people watch movies? Because they want to engage their imagination, you see? It's 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 movies that great movies. One second. Great movies engage the imagination of the audience the most. You know, great movies are the ones that make that make you discuss and talk about it. So, the key to showing a guy you like him is simply always being there for him. You know, and from time to look, man. The problem is this: is that when you when you motherfucker show that you like a guy. You guys go way too far. You you guys throw, you go way too far. You know, you got to stop using words. Stop using words. And if you do show that you like them, always, always, always balance it with a moment of coldness. With some coldness. With, 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 a, with a hint of coldness. Always balance it. You know? I'm going to make a video tomorrow about how, what to do if you accidentally tell them, tell them that you love them. Right? But essentially, if you actually, if you actually do that, Oh, you got to, let me tell you something, man. And it's very similar to that. If you tell a dude that you love him, right? If you tell a dude that you love him and he doesn't say I love you back, you got to break up with him. You got to break up with him. You can't, it's, it's, you cannot, you cannot be in that relationship. You cannot be with a dude whom he knows that you love him. That's too much power. You know, it's too much. And plus you guys are not on the same level. You know, if he doesn't love you now, he won't love you later. If you got if you if you got to the conclusion that you love him through a natural process, not because you were needy or because he reminds you of an ex, and as a result you want to redeem yourself through you getting him, you know, trust me, I've 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 done all of those mental gymnas gymnastics, all of those mind, all of those all of those tricks that the mind plays on you, I've documented them. <laughs> I'm always aware of, of of how the brain distorts shit, and it's it's fascinating, you know. Oh, can okay. you do a top how it is with different types of men based on their behavior? I don't know, maybe. Possibly. Um, let me see. Alright, let me see. If there's any super chats or any questions that are good. Alright, people. Let me see. He said I love you first time we met. He said I love you the first time you met? Get the fuck out of here, ladies, man. What the fuck is that, man? If it, look, man, that motherfucker's a weirdo, man. No, don't let any dude. Don't look, man. If a dude who ever says I love you on the first date, that guy has some so some is socially retarded out the fucking ass. That's what I would think. It's crazy. I, I, that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Should I be merciful? Don't be fucking merciful, man. You. Oh, oops. No, that's not that. Um. Hmm. If he says I love you first and you're not there yet, then say what you said. I'm not there yet. Look, man, if he breaks up, first of all, he won't break up with you if you say I love you, I love you. I mean he he doesn't follow Alex for my for attraction, right? But if 
it's it's like yeah man you know hey we got a we got a subscriber a a a, a uh, what do you call it a member just that's just creepy yeah it's, a, it's creepy shit man creepy shit um how to get him to clean up after himself i don't know man look man if he's not clean tell him right and if he doesn't and if he doesn't i mean look man we people guys people will be people you know they some people have certain ingrained personality traits that would just always be with them forever so i mean you could tell them and, and see if you could change it but but you know like if if imagine him being the way he is and seeing a whole relationship if if you don't mind like living with him being who he is right now and 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 the mere fact of of, of him changing is a plus but doesn't make or break it then go ahead go ahead i mean you know try to change it but you know if if he has to clean up with himself or else this just won't work on and it creates a shit ton of arguments then you know you're setting yourself up for failure it's weird okay how to start over the in the relationship as friends uh, well how to go from relationship to friends i don't see that possible man that's not possible look man the thing is is that I, I never recommend people staying friends with their exes. It's, it's just, a, you're, you're just creating unnecessary problems. I don't give a fuck how mature you are. I mean, there's always an exception to the rule, right? But, mm. hey, we got Be Yourself donating 20, 20 for, you know, watching. Thank you so much for the donation. How do I donate? Your channel has been beyond enlightening. Well, you know, donate how you donate. <laughs> donate how you donate right now. Or go to patreon.com and, and um, become a um, Patreon member there. Hey, we got, thank you, um, Lady Rose, for the donation. Hey, Alex, I'm turning 51, and I finally learned what you're talking about. But I'm um, at the point, at a point where that I'm not sure what type of relationship I want. It's always a good start to know. It's always a good start. How? Um, go to patreon.com slash ma20. Um, a, good, a good way, look, man, you, if you don't know what you want, start with what you don't like. You know, because you know clearly what you don't like, right? And avoid what you don't like. What you don't like will inevitably lead you to what you do like. Or find out what you don't like and look for the opposite. You know what I'm saying? Find out what you don't like about a relationship. And, for example, if you hate jealous people, then the opposite will be you like people who are not jealous, right? But sometimes, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't, it, it sounds like you may not be dating that much. If you don't know what you like, because you got to be dating a lot of people so that you can develop a, a genuine taste based on real experience and feedback. F fuck. You got to develop a genuine taste based on real feedback, you know, because if you just say I like white people and you never been with a white person, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, I, I hate angry people. You never been with an angry person. What are you talking about? You know, when you meet an angry person, they're not going to trigger that genuine hate, not genuine hate, but genuine, genuine dislike for angry people. And as a result, you might accept a dude who, who, who is angry simply because he's charming. You know, you have to really dislike it through real experiences so that you could really be turned off by it. So, you know, find out what you don't like if you don't know what you like and start dating a lot of people. Start fucking up. Start, start meeting the wrong people. I mean, don't, don't die, you know. <laughs> Don't 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 accept an invite from that dude from Craigslist. But what I'm saying, be, meet the wrong people for the sake of the good ones. You know what I'm saying? Meet the wrong ones so that you can understand what you don't like. I mean, it's just a drink, you know? <laughs> it's just one drink, right? I mean, and you just gotta give it a try, man. You can't be trying to make every shot. You just gotta shoot, and eventually it, one of the shots will go in. And it's not a numbers game, but it's a it is a numbers game, but you are increasing your chances through 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 the things I say, if that makes any sense, right? Yeah, that's how that's how the cookie crumbles, people. Oh, fuck, it's too many automations. It's kind of cold, man. I don't want to keep walking, but I gotta keep giving advice as I as it expires. Uh, I seem to just like younger men. I mean, what? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel you, man. I like young women. I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, it's um. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. Thank you, Rhonda, for the two dollar donation. Really well appreciated, Rhonda. I read you. 
Yeah, I mean, if you if you like the younger ones, but the thing is this, man, if you like if you like younger ones, then you gotta readjust what you expect. I mean, you gotta readjust what your expectations because if you're gonna be dating younger guys, man, you know, the, you know, you know, younger guys, you know, they wanna they wanna dick you down, you know. So <laughs> I dick you down, but they it's all about sex. There's nothing for nothing. You're not gonna have a relationship with those dudes. So if that's what you want, then go ahead, man. I mean. At the end of the day, it's not how it looks. It's how do you, what do you want? You can't give a fuck what people, you can't care what people say about you because at the end of the day, when you, when at, at, at your deathbed, your haters are not going to be there. The, the only one that, that's going to be there is yourself. So the only person who you, should, who you should really matter about is what you think about yourself and how you see it and stuff like that. You know? It's, it's kind of like I practice practice polyamory you know where you you love more than one person and you know you have it's not just one girlfriend you can have two girlfriends or three and you can't really hear what people think some people don't like that so you like fuck it you know it's it's and they have to be like that too you know because you can't do polyamory and sort of care what people think because some people are definitely going to judge you but it, this motherfucker who the hell still has alarms for their car man honestly It. Would you make a video about an open relationship? Sure. I mean, it's, what's funny is that I don't talk much about that for some reason. I should definitely start talking about more about different um, dating lifestyles, like polyamory and you know, people who are non-monogamous and all that sort of stuff. I should I should talk about that a little bit more because I have my own theories on it, and, and I like to think that I have some decent perspectives on it. Right? You want to set them down one day? Yeah, I like. I mean, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. You know, not with one girl though. I mean, I I, I I I like the prospect of being with one girl, but a girl who understands that and who actually encourages that fact. You know, so it's a it's 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 just finding the right person whom you have chemistry with. You know, which is the key chemistry. You know, I've um I struggle finding people who have chemistry with me. I'm 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 pretty insufferable to be honest with you. <laughs> pretty insufferable in every aspect some reason i get women mad at me i don't know anyways um we should, all right um can you smash my si what the fuck all right sometimes i gotta read these messages before i read them um how can i spend time with a guy who i see only twice a week um we work together but never really have time to sit and talk we text but we can't but how can I spend more time with him? I mean, you just gotta, you, you know, you know. If he says, "What are you up to this weekend?" You just say, "Hey, not much, you know. I'm get, I'm getting drinks with friends, but after that, I'm not doing much. Keep your schedule open to him, you know. That's the only way. If he doesn't, if he doesn't make a move, if he doesn't get the hint, then don't. You can't force your way in his pants. I'm sorry. Hey, thank you, Rhonda, for the twenty dollar donation. Much appreciated. Thank you, Audrey, for the nine dollar donation, ten dollar donation. I much appreciate it. How long do you spend on reading one book? To be honest with you, it's it's like it's like watching a TV show, right? You keep rewatching a show, you keep rewatching a movie, you keep re that's how I am with books. I just keep rereading it, and I read a book, you know, and like you'll watch a show, but then when you read like a show, you keep rewatching it. So. I sort of keep reading them as long as I could. I remember I kept reading psycho for like two years of my life. I kept rereading The Power of Now for two years. Um, and now currently I'm rereading, I'm reading all of Robert Greene's book for the past two years, you know? So it's been, you know, that, that's pretty much how I do it, you know? It's more like a, of, 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 an obs a, of an obsession and, you know, I just, you know. All right, let me see who else. Um, hey, Audrey, thank you, Audrey. Uh, thank you, Kristen, for the $10 donation. You said, just wanted to thank you all for the free valuable lessons you teach on here. I appreciate you and wish you nothing but success and happiness. Oh, thank you so much, man. It's, how cool is that that you guys can talk to me on this, right? Isn't that crazy? You guys can, like, have conversations and we could chat and stuff like that, you know? It's pretty gnarly, bro. It's gnarly, dude. Like, it's, like, it's crazy, bro. Um, what if a guy texts you another name and then apologizes? Do you cut him off? I don't know, man. 
I mean, I, it's, it depends on what was your expectation with him, you know? Do you want anything in the future with him? If you don't want anything in the future with him, but, but his dick is that good, then go ahead, keep talking. But, I mean, it's, it's, you know, if you have other people and you feel like that's disrespectful, then that's all, that's all based on you. Um, if I was in that case, I don't give a fuck. I mean, if you, if you text me the wrong name, I, I, I'm still going to fuck you, you know, but... You know, you're gonna have to see me Monday night now. You're not gonna get that Friday night sketch. Um, um, you're not gonna get that Friday night slot. You're gonna get the Monday night slot. You know, hey, we got a new uh, member. Her name is Queen Cashmer. Thank you for a mem for being a member. Much appreciated, man. I'm happy I could possibly help you guys. You know, um, can you make? Can you please post the books? Well, the books that I suggest reading is the first of all, the, my my favorite book. Mastery by Robert Greene, fucking groundbreaking. Um, every Robert Greene book, to be quite honest with you, starting from um, the laws of human nature, so that you could stop being so goddamn naive. Um, the the laws, um, the 48 laws of power, so that you could, so that so that you can learn how to navigate life without offending people and, and knowing how to knowing how to get leverage in life. Um, the 30 strategies of strategies of war is all about mental warfare against yourself and against other people. Um, What's next? Uh, the Art of Seduction? Yeah, but that's good, but you got my channel, so you don't need to read that. Um, what's next? Um, Awaken a Giant Within by Tony Robbins. Amazing self-help book. Um, uh, the Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. That's another one. Um, the Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. That's another one. Um, uh, what else? Um, uh, what's another book that's, that's like incredible, that I find incredible? Um, the pop, mm, I think those are the ones. Uh, oh, biographies, biographies. Because bi to me, biography, I'll tell you one thing, man. Biographies to me are more impactful than self help books. For some reason, biographies to me are more impactful. For, so, for, so to me, the next best bi the biographies that, that really shook me, shook me was the first one was um, Total Recall by Arnold Schwarzenegger. That book is, is fucking incredible. Total Rico by Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is his biography. After that, the next biography that I found fascinating was Like a Virgin by, by fucking uh, by, um, Richard Branson. It's his biography. Um, he, 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 he's the only one who, who made a, um, what do you call it? He's the only one who, made, who, was, who has multiple companies who was, who was a, who's a billionaire in, in, in multiple industries. He's the only one, right? Um, and so I, I was like, how is he, how was he able to um, raise billion, to, um, a whole bunch of billion dollar industries in different industries? And you know, how, how was he able to do that? So I want to learn that. That's, a, that's, that's an inspiring one. After that is Leonardo da Vinci by um, Walter Isaacson. That one is to me, oh my God, man. That one is, is just fucking shocking and, and groundbreaking. Like just reading how some, how, when you read Leonardo by by Walter Isaacson, you are literally reading the the, the how you are literally reading the human the potential in every person. You're seeing the pinnacle of human intellect. It, 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 it's when you read that book, you realize that you are literally you are literally wasting away incredible potential. That book is is fucking groundbreaking. The reason why I read that book is because. I was watching a video where Robert Greene was asked what book, what, um, um, what was um, Mastery based on? And he said Mastery was based on Leonardo da Vinci because he's the greatest master of them all. So I was like, well, if I enjoy, if Mastery is my favorite book of all time, then I would seriously love reading his biography. And guess what? It went as it went like it like it did. It's almost like if you like, if you're my friend, you like my friends. It's kind of like that, right? After that, the next biography is, um, what's the next one? is um, The Agony and the Ecstasy, the, the biography of, of, um, of Michelangelo. That one is, to me, is incredible because Michelangelo is, is, is when I read that biography, it's, it's, I don't know, man, that, that biography is so divine and so beautiful and so, so inspiring and like, it shows you how little you are, how 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 powerful Michelangelo was. It's 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 incredible, man. How 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 was it that I that I heard Michelangelo so often and yet I didn't know how how powerful of a dude that was? Because yo, man, I don't I don't even want to get into it, man. Because the story of Michelangelo is 
is something that I, I cannot comprehend. It's, it's, it just humbles me. I cannot believe someone with, with, that much, with that much passion existed, you know? I can, I can only just wish I could be like that. In, 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 in 5% of that, you know? But anyways, ooh, this is different. I haven't seen this part of Brooklyn. Um, let me see. Uh, Derek Lewis, I'm gonna Google him. I don't know who he is. What if he sees other girls but keeps you around? I mean, he likes you. That's, I mean, you know, he, he likes you. Uh, oh, look at this, nice park. Yeah, right now, I'm not seeing anybody right now. Literally, I'm not seeing any girls right now. Like, no girls. Like, I haven't even been with a girl in the past fucking month or so, I believe. Cause like, I just, I, I really, I, I realized I was really fucking up, you know? I needed to focus more and, and to focus on art and, and, and improving my art and improving on my channel, making more products, you know? So it's been, I, I've been just completely isolating myself because I need to get my own goddamn apartment, man. I'm tired of living in a room. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice the next three or four months, live in a cheap place, live further in Brooklyn, not go out, not, not go out, still smoke, but you know, and just work on creating products and, and, and coaching for, for the next two months. You know, it's, you know, it's a sacrifice you gotta make, you know? Like, for example, right? We would all love, we would all love to be like Michelangelo. We would all love to create the Sistine Chapel, right? We would all love to do that, right? But let's say you had the skill to create what Michelangelo created in the Sistine Chapel, right? You know one thing? Let's say if somebody told you, if you, you were able to do this, but this is, what you, this is the price you have to pay. This is the price you have to pay. You have to be here every single day, work for 20 hours a day, from morning, from, from, from the night to dark, from, from morning to dark, work 20 hours a day. And not just that, motherfucker. You gotta do it and paint with your neck up for four years. And if you do that, you'll be proclaimed as the second greatest artist of all time. Would you do that? You know what? Most 99.999% of people who, even if they had the skill set, they don't, they say to themselves that price is not worth to I am that price that price is not worth it. You know what? Michelangelo paid that price. He paid that price. He, Michelangelo was the only dude in history who was willing to pay that price. Like just just think about that. He was the only dude in history who was willing to paint such a colossally difficult Seeing he was he, there was no way on this planet that no dude would have ever completed that and kept the quality and integrity of the work Michelangelo once said I Cannot give you a subpar product even if that's what you are requesting It's like my god, man, you know, it's like he was forced to create the Sistine Chapel and coincidentally the person who they forced was the only dude in that fucking planet at the time who was willing to do such a colossal work and still keep the integrity of the of the quality up. It's I can't compare it to that. Even if I have the skill set, I, I can't compare. I can't compare. And and that that thought, that that understanding is to me elevates Michelangelo above all artists. And and it's 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 like and it's, he's so divine. I just cannot believe someone like that existed. You know, I, it's, it's just flabbergasting. And to me, when I think about Michelangelo, it's, not, it's gay as shit, but when I think about Michelangelo, I just get inspired to draw more. He just, he just inspires me not to be lazy because he wasn't, you know, he, he, he died working. You know, he died working. He died like, like, like at the age of 88, two, um, a week prior, he was working. You know, and not just that, but as he grew older, he still stopped, didn't stop learning. At the age of 70, he, he began, be, he, he was learning how to become an architect. And he became one of the greatest architects of his time. So not only did he create the second greatest painting of all time, not only did, was he one of the best, if not the best sculptor, creating things like that, like, 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 like La Pieta and Bacchus and Michael and David and, 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 and Moses. All that sort of stuff, 
not only was he that, but also he was an architect. He was a defense engineer. He was an engineer. He was a poet. I mean, it's, 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 to me, it's, it's, oh, it's crazy. Anyways. Hey, let me see. Hey, we got the Simone, one, two, three, said, he is pulling away. We went on a date and hooked up last Friday, like we always do. And the next day I went out to the club, he stopped reaching out. Then stop reaching out to him, man. You got, right now, when, look, man, when a guy pulls away, just resolve to don't, just resolve not to, not to make any contact until he contacts you. Simple as that. If he pulls away, you pull away. You see, a lot of people, when they, the reason why people panic when people pull away is because of fear. Fear begins to control your imagination. It's almost, a, it's almost like when you go get a, a t STD test and when you get out of the test, all you're thinking of is getting A's and your dick falling off and all that sort of stuff. It's because you're, 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 you, you are functioning in fear and as a result, your brain creates images of, of the worst case scenario, right? So when you really like God and he starts to, to pull away, your imagination becomes activated and suddenly it begins to show you all of the worst possible scenarios, all of the threats because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trait that it's inherent because humans, we, are, we were predators. So as a result, everywhere we went, we were always on alert. That fear mechanism is there to help you Find, be, um, to help you survive in new environments is meant to look for danger. So, but we don't need that. Somebody pulls away and you don't know what's in their heads. Your brain automatically thinks of the worst. Automatically says, hey, he might dump you. Oh, he's fucking that. Who's the bitch? And all that sort of stuff. And it's why when you really like a guy and suddenly he's, he has photos with women, before you liked them, they were just his friends. But now suddenly you like them, those women are not just his friends. Those women become a threat, right? That's what happens. Right. So, 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 but when you like a guy, you got to go against that part of your nature because that part of your nature isn't meant to improve your relationships. It's just meant to help you survive, but it's what controls your decision making and dating. So what you got to do, man, is just go against the grain, go against the grain and just pull away. You got to trust, you got to trust that fact that if somebody pulls away, if they value you, they'll come back to you because sometimes people pull away just to test you. This is doing it to test you, and 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 when people and when people are trying out a new strategy, and you guys can attest, when you're trying out my tactics for the first time, at the first sign that it's not working, if you're not working with me individually, you'll break, you're gonna break and start chasing because you're like fuck, Alex's strategy they're not fucking working, fuck it, let me just do what I normally do, and then you start chasing, unless you're my client, and my clients know not to fucking do that. Some of my clients are just fucking hard headed. But still though, what could, what could you do, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you guys, hard headed as hell, but that's okay, right? What, what could you do? Um, what if he starts hitting on your friends? I'm reading that. Yo, any dude that starts hitting on your friends, if that's, not what, if that's what you want though, you know, sometimes you might want, you know, nothing wrong with that. I've, I've been with girls who don't mind sharing me with their friends, but if that's not what you want, then you gotta break up with them. Look, man, you, a lot of people say why is your solution to a lot of things is breaking up because I know how things, I know the first signs of things. It's like when you see a kid who, who's bullying, kid, who's, who's being a little bully at the age of five, you automatically say, you know what? I've seen enough kids who know that that kid's gonna turn into a bully. I know the signs of a bad relationship before it starts. I know that shit. And also the solution of breaking up lets them know that you're not fucking around, you know? It, it, it forces them to either leave, which means that, you know what, they really didn't like you, or it forces them to say, you know what, why are you exaggerating? I like you, I just did that by mistake. And if you take him back, you know what's happening next? He's gonna think twice. He's gonna know you're not here to fuck around. You see what I'm saying? If they, if they like you, they'll always come back. But unfortunately, our fears, understandably so, our fears, you know, sort of causes us to not do it. But it's okay though, it's, it's okay to be afraid that you're not gonna get them back, but you just have to be logical and remember why you're doing that. Don't listen to your emotions, trust your logic. You see what I'm saying? Just trust your logic. It's kind of like when you go to, again, it's kind of like when you go to get, a, to get um, STDs test, you think you have AIDS, you're like, fuck, I have AIDS, I don't know. And then you're like, dude, remember bro, you, it's rare for you to get AIDS. It's just, just, just think of the stats, right? But it's kind of like your emotions don't think of the, of, of the logic. It just thinks of, of worst case scenario that's not based on logic. That's why I don't, you can't trust your emotions that much. Trust, trust your instincts though, but not emotions. I wonder what's the difference between 
an instinct and other emotion. You know? Like, where do instincts come from? Where do we... I don't know. Uh, how can we get a hold of you and what do you charge? Um, go to my, my website, mindfulattraction.org. Just go to the link below if you want to get one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, I have I have coaching that, that starts at $30 and ends and tops at $1,000. Like, I have monthly coaching where I could coach you for a month. It's called Coach in a Pocket, where you can message me as much as you want and um, and you get individualized advice. So let's just say you're going through something and you need you need me in your pocket at any moment in time. That's where you have that Coach in the Pocket. And um, and then I have like, you know, 30, 30 minute phone calls, one hour phone calls, you know, 30 minute phone calls is $100 and you know, stuff like that. All right, so let me read the comments. It says, ooh, there's a library here. Look at that. Well, I know this library. Oh, I know where I am. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I'm walking a lot, people. <laughs> I'm walking a lot. All right, so it says, the comment says, what's the average time to get over someone? I don't know, man. It depends. I mean, I sort of, uh, I, I, it, and what's funny is that I sort of, how can I say this? I sort of understand that if you, that if you've been damaged in life, it's harder to get over someone. But I, it makes me wonder why are some, you know, I don't know. It, it, a few weeks, a few months, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find out too. All right. You're your social plex. I don't know what that means. Come to Rome, be my guest. I'm going to Rome soon when I pay all my taxes. <laughs> I fucked up, I'm telling you, man. Dude, when you're gonna come to Amsterdam again next year, but not this year. I, I need to pay all of my taxes and save up money, man. That's what I need to do. That's my number one priority right now. All right. Um, I will, oh, somebody says, I was in the guy's channel and I'm interested in the self-amusement thing. All right, um, fuck. I mean, first of all, mind your own channel. I don't know what the hell you're watching the guy's channel. Second of all, um, my, okay, self amusement is all about learning how to be, learning how to get out of your head and being more social. So self amusement is simple. All you gotta do is ask yourself, what can I do right now to have fun? You're not thinking, what can I say right now to make him like me? You're not thinking, what can I do right now to make him like me? All you're thinking is, what can I do right now to have fun? How can you make yourself happy? So your action from that from that from that um, channel of thinking we produce action that's not based on people's reaction, but based on you having fun. If they don't like it, they could go, they could go fuck themselves. But the point is, is that it, 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 it doesn't make you as nervous and it makes you more, it just takes away a lot of the nervousness, that kind of, that kind of mentality. Because usually when you're talking to people, you're usually asking yourself questions in your head. You're asking, you're usually asking questions such as, does he like me or, or, or does he like what I'm saying? Or what can I say right now to make him laugh, right? So rather than asking, and, and usually when you ask yourself that question, those kind of questions, it produces behavior that, that is based on people's reactions. So you sort of act in a very nervous way. Right, because you're you're always saying things to get a good reaction. So what you so that's why you're getting nervous because your behavior is is based on people's reactions, right? It's almost like a comedian saying a joke and waiting for the people's response. They're like, "Fuck, I hope you guys laugh and stuff like that." So by saying, "How can I have fun right now?" You're just taking the audience out the picture and saying, "I'm doing this for myself." And you be, and you come across more genuine, and you know you you, you just sort of you take away the power that people have over you. You know, their reactions don't affect you. Let me see. All right. How can you come off more confident? Stop trying to come off confidence. Just relax. Just relax. You see, if you want to come across more confidence, just notice your breath. Just notice your breath, right? Because confidence is all about relaxation, not about tension. When you're when you're when you're nervous, your thoughts are racing. You can't relax. You can't be mindful. When when you're relaxed, you're confident. You know, confidence is relaxation. That's what it is. It's not high energy. It's relaxation, right? Think about it. When you're fighting someone and you know that you could beat them, you fight them in a relaxed way. When you're fighting someone and you and you feel like you're gonna get fucked up, you're fighting in a nervous way. So it's just focus on learning how to be more relaxed, and that's all you need, man. Yeah, be present, exactly. 
I, hey people, look, hit the notification bar so that you know when I'm going live. I'm gonna be going live every single day this month, all right? I'm going live every single day this month, so hit the notification bar so that you know when I'm going live. Yeah, clingy men are definitely a turn off. To me, to you guys, not to me. I don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to bag them. Um, let me see. Hey, people. All the people who are new. What's up, people? What's up, Faith? What's up, Brenda? What's up, Lena? My aunt wants a threesome with another female. With, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I thought it said man wants a threesome with... Another man, I thought I said female, but fuck, all right. I said to find another girl, yeah, but he insisted he wants only with me. I said it would happen in serious relation only. We broke up with, of his commitment. For, what the, f wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, we got a new member, Jenna, thank you. What the hell? So, so he wanted a threesome and you were like, yeah, let's do it with another girl. He's like, no, I just wanted it with another dude. I don't know, man. He might be a little gay, man. I don't know. That's. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what dude insists on having a dude over another girl? Like, that is weird. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but that is weird. That that is, that is some backward shit, man. That it makes no sense. Every every it, my dick my 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 dick was shocked when he, when he read that. Like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Good. It's good thing you broke up with him. He might. Who knows? It's it's weird. It's just weird. It's weird. It's like. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, you know, it's crazy. All right. Um, it, it just makes no sense. I'm, wow. Anyways, he obviously has cock code fantasy. It's more, it's actually a lot common than people think. You know what? I guess. I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's, yeah, possibly. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird to me. I haven't really done a lot of research into that. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into reading a lot about BDSM, so I'm going to see what that phenomenon is and stuff like that, but it's a little weird. Should I hop on his DMs? Nah, just like his photos. Like his photos. Let, let, him, let him know. Just like his photos. And, and, and if you want to respond to one of his, um, response to one of his, um, you know, stories, you don't have to say hey. All you gotta do is just respond. Like, like you know how it's, you can send clapping, hot, like or like the like the sign. You know, just respond like that. You know, and yeah. That's how it is, people. You got 18 more minutes. Fuck, man, it's a lot of walking. <laughs> what do you do when he says he likes you but comes and goes? Move on. Move on, man. It's not. It's it's. If his words, if his words had a mouth, what would it say? Believe that. Believe that part. Don't believe what the words say. Believe what people say. You know. Yeah, dump him. Dump him. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, Alex, this dude never calls. But when I call him, we're always talking for a long time. Should I continue to call? Stop calling. Stop calling. Just stop calling, man. You know, you gotta, it has to be 50-50. There's no way around it. It has to be 50-50. Am I gonna keep the live stream as a video? Yep. I mean, why wouldn't I? It makes no sense to not keep it. Let me see him. Day on Valentine's Day, see him every day at school. He acts nice, hot and cold. Told him he's rude now, he's nicer. No text though. How do I get him to chase? Just, just don't do nothing. Look, man, a lot of it's just don't do nothing. I mean, I mean, honest to God, it's just don't do nothing. The thing is, is that it shocks you guys. I don't know why. When I say don't do nothing, because you guys expect it and do something. The reason why you guys want to do something isn't because you guys think are thinking strategically. You guys are just feeling an intense emotion, and you don't want to feel that anxiety. So you just want to take action so that you could, so that you could get the answer. You know, it's like trying to, it's like trying to, like to like fast forward in a movie because you can't take the tension. You know, so you guys gotta just calm your hot ass down, calm down, and let things unfold on their own.
um, Alex Key. Uh, why do guys act like the victim when they were the ones that cheated on you and ghosted on you? You know, what's funny is I was actually making a video about that on my guy's channel called How to Use Vulnerability to Make Her Chase because it's it's it, it works <laughs> it, because it works girl that's why the reason why they they blame you is because it actually works it's fucking insane it's phenomenal it's crazy it works you know it's kind of like this right let's say you cheated on the girl right and she catches you right and you're and you're banging her right and she says delexis what are you doing right you don't say sorry you never apologize you say it's your fault and she says what you know yeah it's your fault man you're the one that you're the one that caused me to do this you blame her, <laughs> you know, and, and the funny thing is that when you don't apologize and you blame it on them, the craziest thing is that they actually slowly, slowly, some of them, they slowly actually accept it or some of them would just let it go and just continue seeing you. It's the craziest thing in the world. It's phenomenal. You guys must say, how do I know that? Not from experience. I don't cheat. Um, but, you know, it's, I don't, I, I don't, I don't. There's nothing to cheat about, but coaching my, coaching my clients, that's what I hear all the time, where the guys blame it on them and it sort of works, you know? Where the guy blames it on them and, and, and the woman feels the blame and they sort of, they believe it. It's the craziest thing in the world, man. It makes no sense. Do guys feel emasculated by tall girls? Nah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't mind tall girls. <laughs> hey guys, if you want me to notice your question, because there's a lot of questions, all you gotta do is just put a donation and obviously it'll pop up. But I, generally though, I like to read the shorter questions. So if you can ask a question, man, don't send me fucking books, man. All right, let me see. Uh. I'm actually someone that was interesting. One second. Uh, uh, he wasn't. Okay, I'm reading a comment from Sundai where she said, Yeah, we'll be careful that dude. I dated who was also into cock holding. He would use it to manipulate girls into them giving him threesomes all right can you explain how he used that to manipulate them to do that like can you explain that part because how would you manipulate somebody to to do that through cock holding I, mean, I, I don't know and please I, I'm curious about that so I don't know what the hell that that is so please explain that I'll read it um, Tina thank you for the five pound donation Tina says he broke up after finding out we can't be together cause of religion reason keep saying he loves me and tries to hit up especially when I back off look man if he says that then you just let it go man it, you just let it go I mean one of the things that is very difficult to get through is religion I mean I, I, I don't have experience with it I haven't worked with enough clients to experience with it I haven't worked with religious guys that I, you know like it's something that I haven't experienced um, I could I could tell you from my experience that when I was really into religion there was no girl who was gonna separate me for them. There was no pussy in the world, maybe temporarily, but permanently I was always gonna return, you know? So it was either you convert or this is over because I am not going to hell, right? That's the thing you guys gotta have to understand is that they believe they're gonna go to hell if they hook up with you, you know? If they hook up with you. So it's, it's with religion, man, you can't, you can't really, you can't really get through that part. That's, that's not, nah, you're not getting, not getting through that part. Thank you, um, Tina, for that for that question. Uh, if a dude finds you attractive but is unavailable, will he come back when he becomes available? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If you wait, yeah, a hundred percent. He might be with his, he might have a girlfriend or a wife or whatever. Alex, how can I get him to stop watching porn? You can't. You can't get him to stop watching porn. What the fuck? That's not gonna happen. Sorry, it's, it's hopeless. Um, uh, 
Oh man, X spreading rumors, saying he gave me something, STD, they're not true, I'm clean, I just don't know why he would do that. Lie, lie on himself, he said he loved, I, because he's narcissistic, he's narcissistic and crazy, man, that's a psycho. That's a psycho, girl. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry you got with a psycho, but, you know, people all, it's, it happens. You're, you just got with a psycho. Um, I don't know, I mean, that's something that I haven't dealt with, people talking shit on me, so... Um, hope it doesn't happen to me, but I don't know how to deal with that. Um, let me see. He only texts no call after two weeks of meeting. Red flag? No. Some people don't text, man. Some people, he might be young and stuff like that. He also said he would like to hear from me, but I am not ready to start initiating. Thoughts? Hang out, motherfuckers. I mean, he's, is he asking, is he asking you out through the text messages? Is he asking you to hang out? I mean, ask him out. I mean, there's no, nothing wrong with asking him out. Say, hey, are, are you ready to hang out? You can't, you know, you build a connection. You, you you plant the seed when you're there and you build the connection when you guys are apart. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you know, hang out at least once a week, at the most once a week. Blow his mind. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Blow his mind. And and take it from there, you know? But right now, man, it's, it's, it's like you, you should not be texting someone for two weeks without seeing them. I mean, at least, at least that's what I, that's what I tell people, you know? So, I don't know. You, you just gotta, you gotta, I, I don't know what, has he asked you out? I mean, has he asked you out? Let me see. Uh, I'm, but I'm not ready to start initiating thoughts. I mean, look, man, initiate, what the fuck, man? If he ask, if he's asking you to initiate, initiate, text him from time to time, you know? I mean... But but do ask him to hang out. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Look, man, I say I tell people, you could initiate contact. Just the next time, be a little cold. That's all. Just balance every warmth with coldness. If you see him, if you ask him out, you know the next time you're not gonna ask him out. Simple as that. You know, or you act cold for the next day, or you take a long time to text. You make him you make him feel like maybe she lost interest, or maybe she met someone, and then you come back, and and, and the flame and the and the passion for you is, is bigger. That's how you do it. You you play it out. You play around. When you when you give something, take as equally back with this with this interest. You know, if you go up 50, if you go up, if you put up the temperature at 50, you bring it 100. You bring it down at 100. Something like that. Yeah. Anyways. cold as shit. You see the sacrifice I'm doing for you guys, man? Been walking for one hour. We talk, we never talk on the phone, but um, we text often. Is that normal? I mean, it depends. I mean, it depends how old you are. I mean, if you're an old, if you guys are an older couple, I mean, maybe, right? But if you're a young person, then some people don't text, right? I don't know. It depends. It depends on, on, on how old you guys are and stuff like that and how and what he's used to. You know, so I would call him and, 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 and if he likes it, if he likes to call, he'll call you. It's just how it is. Like if he likes to call, he'll call you back. It's simple as that. But at the same time, when you like someone, you want to talk to them. But some people just don't call. You know, it's just some people just don't like to call. You know, so there's nothing you can do about that, you know. Your opinion on online relationship? I mean, like what? I mean, if I if I approve of them, yeah, I approve of them. I mean, you know, they're um, you could you could do that. Let me see. Uh, how do you act around narcissist? to not show weakness. You don't hang around them. What the fuck are you doing? Stop hanging around them. You you just you, you just get away from narcissistic people. How to catch the attention of an online creator? I mean, I don't know, it depends. If he's on Instagram, all you gotta do is just add him on Instagram and make sure to have like a sexy story or like a, you know, a hot photo as, as, one, of the, as one of your recent photos and let him message you or, or respond to one of his stories you know and um ask him ask him where he lives and if you know if you live where he lives just say oh me too i live there and stuff like that and take it from there you know 
Ask him out. Nothing wrong with that. Look, if you if you if he doesn't know where you live, he doesn't know you, and you know him, then you gotta hit him up. Simple as that, right? Um, some of these guys, some of these guys are petty as shit, and they were like, you know what? I am not gonna I am not gonna ask you out. Some guys are just petty. I'm petty like that. Somebody hits me up, they wanna hang out. And somebody hits me up. If a girl hits me up and expects me to ask her out, she better be fucking kidding herself, cause I am not gonna give you that validation. I am I am keeping those chips. I am not giving anyone free validation. You know. Five more minutes, people. Five minutes, I'm out, man, because it's, it's, it's been a lot, man. <laughs> I need to pee. Do narcissists change? Nah, I don't think they change. Deep narcissists don't change, man. Deeply narcissistic people, they don't change. They don't, they don't have a sense of self to, to, so that they could, you know, hold on to. There's no sense of self, you know? They, their, their sense of self is outward, so it's very difficult for them to they never developed it. They never developed a an internal rock where they could take pride in and, and find happiness from within. It's not there. I dump my ex because she's doing illegal activity. Does she think I'm soft? No, nigga. She, it's, it's, you did the right thing. You're not being soft. It's actually strong. You know, it shows strength. You showed her strength. That's what you did. A pussy would have would have would have shut up and done and done what she had asked, bro. If it's not for you, then then don't stay. It's, it's good that you did that. Go to the mother. She knows how to deal with them. No, if you go to the mother, she might be a narcissist, a narcissist too, a narcissist as well. So, <laughs> you know what the fuck are you doing? No way. <laughs> Is it normal for a relationship to get boring and, or cold? Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, it's. It's the nature of relationship, you know, they, they, they're prone, they have ups and downs, you know, so a lot of, all relationships are, 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 are prone to getting cold. Yeah, 100%. I think the guy that goes to me is a narcissist, maybe, oh, maybe. How to recover after showing neediness? Don't show any interest. You just back away, man. Just back away. For example, like I said, it's very similar to when you tell somebody I love you. If, if you tell them that you love them, then just and he doesn't say it back, then break up. You know, kind of similar to that. So if you if you show neediness, then 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 go the opposite route and don't show anything. The hell they climb trees? I know they climb trees. Hi. Does money buy does money buy love? Nah, it doesn't buy love, man. Nope. In fact, money could potentially isolate you from other people. Especially if you have way more than other people around you. I just got a relationship, three months. I go going through a spiritual cleansing. Where should I go for spring break, please? I don't know, I mean I mean go to Colombia and take ayahuasca. I mean, there you go. That's a spiritual cleanse. Colombia and ayahuasca. So that's my suggestion. You asked for it, so there you go. It's not, and it's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. Some good places. Costa Rica. Yeah, you go to Costa Rica. It's not bad. All right, one second. I gotta go to the store. All right, people. Um, this is about it, man. I'm about to bounce. I'm hungry, so. All right, people. Um, I